As if Gorilla Mode's pre-workout wasn't already good enough, Derek went back into the lab to reformulate it, and now it has 33 grams of active ingredients in a full two scoop serving. That's 25% more than it already had, and that is way more than almost every single pre-workout on the market. But just because the scoops are larger, does not mean that the pre-workout is better. So today we are going to try every single one of the new flavors. I'm gonna give you my rating based on what I think and compared to the old flavor of the same version. I'm going to let you know what is different between the two versions. And I'm even going to go to the gym right after this to let you know how my workout went and do a little before and after and show you what it did after a nice juicy lift. But first, Three years ago, I bought my first tub of Gorilla Mode, and ironically enough, the pre-workout is the exact reason that I applied to try and be a part of the company and represent the brand because the first time I tried this, it was phenomenal. Night and day difference between any pre-workout that I had, and I was a pre-workout fiend back in the day, and I've tried many, many different ones. So yes, I represent the brand, but at the same time, I'm going to say exactly how the flavor is. If you watch my Gorilla Mind Protein Bar review, you'll see that I wasn't too great to them in that review because I'm gonna tell you exactly what it tastes like and how I'm feeling about it. And this to me tastes nothing like oatmeal chocolate chip. Pretty disappointing to be honest especially when it's called oatmeal chocolate chip. Same thing with my PE Science protein bar review. That one was atrocious, but I'm gonna tell you how it is. This is bad. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean. Like, this is really not good. That being said, I have been taking this for almost three years straight for every single workout, and I'm gonna let you know the differences between the old version and the new version. Let's start with what was taken out. The first is Kana. It's supposed to improve mood and pump. And by the way, I'm not an expert on every mechanism of action and all these different supplements. I'm going off of the basic stuff that I have learned over the years and just letting you know what was taken out because you might be like, oh, I really like that ingredient. I don't like that it was taken out or, oh damn, now it has this in it. I really want to try it. So Kana, Argematine Sulfate, and phenylethyl dimethylethane citrate and biopyrene were completely taken out. I'm kind of curious why he took the biopyrene out because I know it extends the life of the stimulants, but maybe because the caffeine was boosted up in this product that he's not worried about the stims lasting long enough that they'll last just fine. But he's gonna do a full video on the breakdown of every single ingredient to tell you exactly what each ingredient does. It also has half the Cooperzine A. It must still be an effective dose, I'm assuming, because why would he cut it in half if it wasn't? And now in the newer version, there is three different B vitamins and magnesium and sodium, and we didn't have that in the last one. So these are all added. Then we get an extra thousand milligrams of citrulline, we get an extra 1,000 milligrams or another gram of glycerol, we get an extra 1,500 milligrams of betaine anhydrous, we get an extra 50 milligrams of caffeine, and then tyrosine has an extra 3,500 milligrams. And what I know about that product is I love Respawn, and I think one of the main things that made me feel so good on Respawn and makes me feel so good on Respawn is the massive amount of tyrosine in it. So I love the massive improvement in tyrosine. I cannot wait to go to the gym and see really how this workout goes. Another ingredient that Derek said he wouldn't ever put in a pre-workout or else it would be super salty tasting is salt. And this has a full thousand milligrams of pink Himalayan sea salt. So I'm already expecting this to be salty according to his words. And if I ever do put out a product with sodium in it, it's going to be salty as fuck. Last but not least, this has alpha GPC. And no matter how much I liked the old mode version, I would personally add my own alpha GPC to mode because I love how alpha, alpha GPC makes me feel. I'm focused, I'm motivated. So I am super, super happy that he put in alpha GPC and it's an 800 milligram dose in two scoops, which is a hefty amount. So now I won't have to put this in anymore. And this is probably gonna sit on my shelf forever because that's basically all I used it for was with my gorilla mode. All right, now that the ingredients are covered, let's try this shit. I'm gonna have a half a scoop of each one. So it equals two scoops and then 
I'm gonna go to the gym and see how I am off those two scoops. So first up, fruit punch. The old fruit punch wasn't really my favorite. It was in probably the bottom half, but I'm really hoping this one is better because I love like fruit punch flavored things in general. All right, bon appetit. Wow, this is so much better than the old one. Great job, Derek. Okay, this is like 8.6 out of 10. Super good. It tastes like fruit punch. Like there's no way to describe fruit punch besides, yeah, it tastes like a bunch of fruit mixed together and it's sweet and it tastes good. And it's not overly salty. You taste the salt, but wow, excellent. Second, cherry blackout. Now, I already love cherry blackout. So if this is better, I mean, I don't even know what to say. This is gonna be unreal. Okay, tastes like a saltier, almost more flavorful because of the salt, but the same flavor profile as the old Cherry Blackout. Already excellent, super freaking good. I would say that's like a 9.2 out of 10 for a pre-workout, super good. Cotton Candy Grape was a big fan of the nitric, but to me, the mode one tasted weird to me when I got it last time. I wasn't a fan. Again, with this reformulation, I'm hoping that this tastes better because cotton candy is like one of my favorite flavors of all time. So I got my fingers crossed. Smells super grapey. This shit, super grapey. So this one's better than the last one for sure, but it mostly tastes like grape, which is disappointing because I want cotton candy. So I think this should just be like grape, grape ape or grape something. If grape's your thing, you would love it. To me, it's just like, eh. I think I'm more disappointed that it doesn't taste like cotton candy. So I'm gonna give this 7.1 out of 10. Last one, blackberry lemonade. They don't have this in the old mode, but they do have this. I don't even have it in here because I drank them all. The blackberry lemonade energy drink, freaking amazing. So I have super high hopes. Honestly, it doesn't really taste or smell like anything. That is straight fire. Which one do I like more? Hold on. Fruit punch is a touch better, but this is like 8.5 out of 10. This is super good. Depending on the day, do I want fruit punch? Do I want some lemonade? Do I want cherry? That's the three I'm going with out of these. The grape could get left behind. These other three, straight fire. The taste could be great, but now let's go to the gym and see what I'm gonna be looking like free pump, what I'm looking like post pump, how I'm feeling. I just got back from the gym and let me tell you one thing. I have no idea what the before the pump and after the pump pictures are gonna look like, but I do know measurable things that happened today. One, I hit PRs, whether it be one more rep or I went up in weight in every exercise. And that could be multiple factors, whether that be I knew I was recording, I was more amped up because of the more caffeine. It could be the pre-workout overall. It could be a combination of those factors. I do concede that, but what I do know is I was able to hit everything I needed. And I had shorter rest times because the gym was closing in an hour and you see this workout takes me about an hour 15. So I had to take shorter rest times in between, yet almost every set I hit more reps or more weight. So. PR central today, that was wonderful. And I'm in the middle of a cut. So that's also wonderful news. My focus was on point and the motivation was there. Again, that could be a multiple factor of things, but the tyrosine always just gets me in the zone. It always has, whether that be for work or whether that be for cardio or a workout, it just gets me in the zone, I think. And the Alpha GPC really just helped boost me up to another level. The energy was honestly <laughs> almost a little bit too much because I ended up getting back and today I don't have any like cardio programs. And I just went to my gym that I have in the building and started walking on the treadmill because I was like, I have too much energy right now to 
not get on the treadmill. So I just did 30 minutes on an incline, got a good sweat going, watched a couple YouTube videos, and I still feel great, still got energy. So going back to the pump, I don't know what the videos look like again, but I usually take the liquid glycerol with the mode. So this makes me get an even bigger pump usually. Visually, I had a massive pump. I don't think it was any more than when I take glycerol with it, but I could only imagine if I would have taken a full cap of glycerol with two full scoops of mode. I think that would have been absolutely insane. I'm obviously gonna do that this weekend, but I wanted to keep it level-headed and fair for this test. Overall, I absolutely love the new flavor systems. Fruit Punch might be my new favorite flavor, very close to Cherry Blackout. And whether you've tried Gorilla Mode in the past or this might be your first time thinking about purchasing, I highly recommend you try it out. This was, again, like nothing that I've ever tried before, and I felt great the entire time. I didn't feel antsy or anxiety or nervous or anything like that. I felt in the zone, perfect, and just motivated the entire time. If you appreciate the review and wanna support the channel, click the link in the pinned comment and use code E4CM for 10% off your Gorilla Mind order. And after your Gorilla Mode powered workout, a high protein, low calorie meal is important if you are looking to lose weight. I have many delicious options in this playlist here that starts with a McChicken meal prep that includes real McDonald's fries. Until next time, deuces.